Hello guys, Zanja here and as you can see I have the OnePlus 2 with me and it is running Sanyushin Mod 12.1 so that's surely a very good thing because I can surely say that OnePlus 1 was a very good success because of the Sanyushin Mod 12.1 that's the official support that it had but unfortunately OnePlus 2 comes with Oxygen OS and there is no Sanyushin OS that will be supported officially but the developers are awesome as always so the Sanyushin Mod 12.1 is released for the OnePlus 2 also and that too in few weeks so that's surely a very good thing so let's take a look at Sanyushin Mod 12.1 which is released for the OnePlus 2 and I'll show you how to install guide at the end of the video so do not worry about that so guys first of all let's go into settings and as we go into about phone you will be able to see that this is the Sanyushin Mod 12.1 so if we will get this and it is based on 5.1.1 that's quite obvious because it's Sanyushin Mod 12.1 and uh, my sim card is working plus my Wi-Fi is also working if I turn off the Wi-Fi and if I turn on my data pack then that will also work so as you can see the data pack is also working so basically uh, almost all the things which I need personally are working over here and even the Bluetooth works so Bluetooth also works but there are few bugs as of now like the fingerprint sensor doesn't work laser autofocus doesn't work and there will be few bugs here and there but those bugs do not matter to me because if the fingerprint scanner is not there and if I'm using Sanyoshi Mod 12.1 on the OnePlus 2 then that's a better thing I wish that the laser autofocus is fixed and I'm saying these bugs as of 28 August uh, if you are watching this video in September or mid September then all the bugs might be removed or some bugs will be there so I'll list down all the bugs in the description box below or I'll give the XDA thread in the description box below you, you can surely check out the XDA thread and you will come to know about the bugs and many things like that so yeah and the Samsung Mode 12.1 for the OnePlus 2 uh, even if it's in beta version it is very stable so if we open the camera application uh, yeah, it will be able to click pictures So as you can see, so the photo click is also good, it's not at all bad. Let's switch to front facing camera. Okay, so here is the front facing camera and the front facing camera also looks very good. And surprisingly enough, uh, OnePlus 2 has a very very good front facing camera that I will cover in my full review. So do hit that subscribe button if you want to come to know about that. And I did an Antutu benchmark also, so let's see the, what were the results. And with this ROM, I got score of 52,308 and that's surely a very good thing because when I ran this benchmark on Oxygen OS um, and I played games before that, then I got score of around 26,813. Um, yeah, Snapdragon 810 is throttling a little bit and all the Sanjay Mod 12.1 features are present over here like if you want any themes, then you can download themes and apply the themes also. So this theme is installed so let's apply that theme and as you can see everything is turned into black now and if you want to revert back simply uh, select the system default theme and just apply it and if we go into status bar you will be able to change the clock styles also so if we select this then it will come into center am pm small if you do not want the percentage then you can select hidden if you want the percentage you can select this brightness control is also present so you can control brightness by sliding on the status bar so yes all the Sanyushin Mod 12.1 features are present over here Wi-Fi works, Bluetooth works, data pack works uh, basic things which I require for daily usage or you also require for daily usage are working over here so that's not an issue and guys when you install Sanyushin Mod 12.1 for the first time the drawer will look something like this so as you can see it is not the normal lollipop drawer so to change that long press on the home screen slide up and select layout as paged so that will be changed to this and now you can even change the animation so if you want this type of animation then you can get this type of animation too so as you can see so as we are here let's check the gaming performance of the ROM too so that uh, for people who want to flash it they will come to know how the gaming performance is on the phone
So as you can see, the gaming performance with the Samsung Note 12.1 ROM is also very good. And my complete gaming review with the OnePlus 2 will be coming soon. And let me just tell you something which I'm going to mention in the gaming review also. The phone does not get warm at the back or in the front. The phone gets warm at the sides, at the metal edges. So that's quite uh, different and little annoying also for some people. So do keep that in mind. So this is how the Sinus Mod 12.1 is for the OnePlus 2 and it looks very good and performs. performance of the ROM is very good. There are no issues with the performance also. And now let's switch to how to install the ROM. So for this you will need to download the ROM package and the GAPS package. Both will be linked in the description box below. And guys to flash this ROM you will need to have an unlocked bootloader and TWRP recovery installed. If you do not have unlocked bootloader or TWRP recovery installed, I will give all the links to do that in the description box below. I have already made a separate video on that. You can simply follow that video and you can flash TWRP recovery. And after that's done, go into settings, then go into about, then go into developer options. Then select advanced reboot option. This will be present in OxygenOS also so do not worry about that. And after that long press on the power button. Now hit reboot. And now select recovery because we need to boot into recovery of the phone. So select that and hit OK. And now we have booted into the TWRP recovery of OnePlus 2. And first thing you should and you have to do is backup the current ROM so that if anything goes wrong afterwards then you can simply restore this backup and come back to the oxygen OS that you are currently on. So just swipe to backup and the ROM will be backed up. And after this go into wipe. And just swipe to factory reset. This will wipe the cache, Dalvik cache and the data of the app. So you do not have to do anything separately. After this, now it's time to install the Science Mod 12.1 ROM. So for that, go into install. Select the Science Mod 12.1 package which is here. And just swipe to confirm flash. So the ROM installation is successful. After this, go into home once again. Select install. And now select the GAPS package, GAPS package you can say, select this and just swipe to confirm flash. So once again the GAPS installation is also successful. Press home once again. So now we need to reboot into the system for that going to reboot. So now we'll boot into the Sandwich mode 12.1. Uh, yeah. Let's take a look at that. Yes, so as you can see, we have we are successfully booting on the Sanjay Mod 12.1. So yeah, this is pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because many more videos on the OnePlus 2 and many ROMs related to OnePlus 2 and tutorials of OnePlus 2 will be coming real soon. So yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you for watching.